Now let let me begin with this program, which is Asker in Gate 2001 paper. So where ABC is a recursive function and that is called from main. And in this ABC, every time ABC is called, I mean two times. Okay. So when such kind of methods are given, how to evaluate them? We have a recursive tree method. I am going to use it. First of all, let me blindly understand the execution flow. Control comes here, and there is a method call with one, two, three as parameter. Whenever you have a string constant, so generally people represent string constant like this in program. Then what happens? Compiler automatically gives this kind of memory to you. Okay, and that is read-only memory. You can't modify them. We know that, right? The memory addresses are hundred, one or two, one, one or two, one or three. Okay, then. The starting address of this string will be passed to this ABC's local variable S. Understand? Whenever we pass string to a method, starting address will be passed. Now, Mr. S is ready to take that starting address because S is a character pointer. Let me begin with ABC method, where S is a local variable, and that local variable is going to get memory address 100. That is the starting point. Now, we'll see the remaining code. First, there is a if condition. Let me evaluate it. What is s of 0? s of 0 is nothing but always star s plus 0. So, star s plus 0 is nothing but star s plus 0 is s. Star s. So, star, what is s? Content of s. What is content of s? 100. So, star 100 is what? So, dereferencing 100. Otherwise, value at 100. Where is value at 100? This one, right? Some students have this doubt. They get confused between this lifetime and you know scope and all. First of all, there is no scope for this. Uh, I mean, there is no variable. First of all, there is no variable called one two three or something. One two three is a memory allocation, right? It's a string. That string is not related to any variable. So there is no question of scope. Now lifetime. Yes, this string is represented in main program, right? So whenever you have a string constant. Its lifetime is throughout the program. You remember it, okay? Now, one more thing. So, whether it is string constant or otherwise, there is a local variable, okay? One more possibility. There is one more local variable. Its address is 200 and that local variable is x. Then, if you pass this variable x address to here, if you have address of that x, example 200 with you, then still you can access that memory without worrying about lifetime. Why? I will tell you. So, when you reach to this point, before that, you were at main, correct? Then I can say that you were at main, after main you reach to, let's say, ABC. Then in ABC, if you want to refer memory address 200, which is part of main program, then still you can refer, not a problem. Such a way language is designed, there is no problem with lifetime. When this memory will be deallocated, if it is local variable I am talking about, this local variable will be deallocated once this main method is completely closed. But now main method is not completely closed. Still I can say we are part of main. From main to we reached ABC. Of course we are part of ABC but we have not completed main. Okay. So that's why this memory is still active. Which one I am talking about this local variables memory. But our memory is permanent memory. Whenever you create a string constant, then compiler generates some memory. Its lifetime, however, is throughout the program. Then there is no problem. Again, there is no problem, right? And what I want to say is, whether it is permanent or not doesn't matter. Sometimes if it is local variables memory also, then you can access from the other functions. There will not be any question of lifetime, ready? Now, we are accessing star 100. What is star 100? Value at 100. 1. Is it null character? No. Then what to do? ABC of S plus 1. After that ABC of S plus 1. After that printf. Since they are very big lines, then what I do is I represent them as nodes. Because we are representing every function call as a node, right? Then ABC of S plus 1 here. Second one ABC of S plus 1. Third one printf. So, printf what? S of 0. Already S of 0 is star s, correct? Then I say star s. So, what I do is, I don't worry about what is the value of s at this moment because we will come to this point after these two. Better don't assume what is value of s. We will see later on. Okay, At this moment, we assume that it is star s. What is s? This s. 
then you might ha have this doubt sir s is 100 right yes s is 100 now but i don't know in the future what happens because you are executing this method and this method better after executing these two methods you are going to come there then at that time whatever s has you take it okay now better we go with star s rather than a particular value now come to abc of s plus 1 now you tell me which line will be executed first in this three this one right then at this moment what is s definitely 100 then s plus 1 is what 101 so it is like calling abc method with value 101 we are passing 101 to whom who is a local variable s don't get confused between uh, this s and this s yes whenever you i mean uh, whenever you call abc method new local variable will be generated we know that right that's why there is another local variable s in this abc function call that will go take 101 understand now let me explore this abc of s first step in abc method first step is what s of 0 what is s 101 let me do s of 0 from now onwards always s of 0 is star s already we have computed it so what is star s now s is 101 star s is nothing but value at 101 tell me blindly what is value at 101 already we know that this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 null character 100 101 102 103 this is 101 value at 101 is 2 is this 2 equal to null character no then the same story is going to happen again that story is these three things now first step abc of what s plus 1 right let me write s plus 1 first after that we will see actual value of s abc of s plus 1 then third one printf star s so what is this s this s refers this s understand now come to abc of s plus 1 we know that so in this this will be executed first but in this this will be executed first that's why let me evaluate this one i will show that okay now abc of s plus 1 what is s this s refers this one that is 101 then s plus 1 is 102 okay who is going to get that 102 local variable of abc again we have a local variable s that is going to get 102 now let me explore so i'll copy this one here so you have 100 101 102 103 1 2 3 null character right so abc of 102 what is the first step s sub 0 star s correct star s is what star 102 this time it is 3 is this 3 null character no then what to do again three steps are going to happen first one is abc of s plus 1 s is 102 s plus 1 is what 103 then s equal to 103 right second one is what let me write first blindly abc of s plus 1 then abc of s plus 1 followed by printf star s okay i don't want to touch this one i will come to this point later okay now first of all we were here after that for that i came here for that i came here to evaluate this one i came here what is absa of s plus 1 what is s now 102 102 plus 1 is what 103 so we are calling abc of 103 then there is a local variable s that is going to take 103 then first step is again in abc method s of 0 what is s of 0 star s what is star s one and star one and three null character so null character equal to null character true right then return blindly return okay so what i want to say is this method is going to be returned nothing you tell me after this one what to do this one then tell me what is s here this s refers this one still s is one or two here then 102 plus 1 is what? 103. You tell me when we passed 103 to ABC, what happened? That blindly returned, correct? So that's why this ABC method also will be terminated by simply not printing anything. Simply it returns, right? Because this line will become true. Then after that, what to do? This one. So we are going to print some star S first time in on behalf of dash method ABC of S, remember then printf star s so what is star s star s take s value from this it is 1 or 2 then value at 1 or 2 is what see 3 then what will be printed in output 3 will be printed i am printing here output then this will be closed after printf 
this is the end of the method abc isn't it see any abc method ends with printf after that there is a right parenthesis that means i can say that some method is closed what is that this method is closed once this method is closed this is a statement of this method once in this method this statement is done we have to come to this one right then what is abc of s plus 1 here please refer s what is that s this one so don't get confused between this s and this s right so far we have uh, dealt with this s correct but now when line comes here control comes here this abc is part of this method and on that local variable s is 101 right then when we refer s plus 1 it will become 102 then abc of 102 will be called here i would like to tell you one trick already we have evaluated abc of 102 again we are evaluating abc of 102 then at this moment definitely you get again same kind of evaluation that's why we don't require to do understand i will tell you when to uh, consider this one so here my statement is abc of s with value 1 or 2 gives what output 3 correct now if you call abc again with s plus 1 that gives again output 3 why simple first of all focus on abc method abc method is you know taking a variable i mean it is depending on a local variable s correct are you using any global parameters no when there is no global parameter in the method if any method is only depending on you know argument from outside see that argument what is that argument that argument s is taking you know it is taking input from the string constant like it is taking data from this array okay this abc of s where s is 1 or 2 took data from where this string correct now when you call abc again with 1 or 2 you are also again having same environment what was the environment we had a string now also we have string right same string and you have any extra things where in this new abc of 1 or 2 nothing so i want to say that the environment here and environment here are same sometimes what happens if you have a global variable something example x okay now your method is depending on this global variable x initially that global variable is let's say zero okay when that is zero let's say this method is uh, behaving like something now when this x becomes one if same method uh, behaves in a different way then you should be careful then i can say that first abc second abc might not give you same output why this abc and this abc are uh, their outputs are depending on a global variable x but initially x was 0 then it responds in one way when x becomes 1 this abc responds in another way but that is not the case here the reason this abc and sorry this abc and this abc both are having only one local variable s but they are uh, this entire you know if you see the code they are accessing the string correct there is no global variable other than this one and this global variable i can say otherwise this global environment is same now and it was same before understand that's why there is no difference between these two they give same output then you get again output 3 now come back once this is done what is the next line line number 1 line number 2 this is line number 3 in abc method so this printf will be executed that is that star s s what is s here go through this edge this is the uh, local variable what is that 101 so print value at 101 what will be printed 2 so now this printf is the last line of some method correct then that method is going to be terminated which method this method so whenever this method is terminated i say that this line is done right then what happens this line will be executed what is s here refer from here what is that 100 since that s is not modified by anyone that generally won't happen most of the time then s plus 1 is what 101 correct did you remember here also we called abc with 101 here also we are calling with 101 the environment is same now and before when environment is same then same way you get output then abc of 101 gave you 332 output then this abc of 1 s plus 1 also gives same output 332 understand then this method will be terminated 
but still this method is not terminated because in this method after this line after this line there is one more printf then we are going to execute that then what is star s star s since this s refers this one right so s is 100 value at s is value at 100 1 right 332 332 1 is the output after that we are going to close this method abc because that is the end of the line now once this abc is done we go back to where we reach to this point from main program then we will reach here then after this line anything else no then main method will be closed then finally the output of this entire execution is 332 332 1 understand